so stand by. I'm John McPeak, and you're watching Community Focus, presented by the Friends of MCTV. In this third segment, our guest is Esther Williams, the Executive Director of Midland Recyclers. Welcome to Community Focus. Thank you. Esther, what's the special event that Midland Recyclers has coming up in October? We're going to have our Halloween Pizza Bash, which is a f our annual fundraiser dinner for Midland Recyclers. It's going to be October 27th on Tuesday from 5 to 7. It's going to be held at the St. Bridget um, Catholic Church, the Parish Hall. Now, what's on the menu? What are some of, and what are some of the activities other than uh, eating? Okay, well, we're gonna ha we've been having a pizza dinner for the past few years, but this year we've decided to bring back spaghetti. Mm -hmm. So we'll have spaghetti and pizza, and uh, salad, and then desserts. Mm -hmm. And there'll be some live music. Yes, we're gonna have some um, live music by the Straight Eights, which is a jazz band. And we're also going to have some fun activities. We'll have a tin can raffle, which is where you can buy tickets and then have a chance at winning several items on a, on the um, like uh, memberships at a health um, club mm -hmm. and, and things like that. And then we're also going to have some carnival games, and, um, and then some um, some door prizes and some door for prizes. people. Yes. And door prizes will be as uh, random. You won't have to have tickets for that. Though. Right. That's just at random. Yep. For people coming. And what's yep. the cost for the? Pizza bash. The adults ticket will be ten dollars. A child twelve and under is six dollars. Three and under is free. And this year we're going to have family packages. So mm -hmm. for thirty dollars, you can have two adults, two children, and then we'll also include ten carnival tickets, which are usually twenty-five cents each or five for a dollar. And those will be used for the tin can raffle. Yep. Well, for the um, carnival games. Yeah. Oh, the carnival, the carnival games. games. So it'll be two different things. Yep. And our tickets are available where and when? So you can come to the recycling center and buy tickets, or you can buy them at the door. So they're available now at the yep, recycling right center now. and yes. day of at the door. Uh -huh. Now, are you set with all the prizes? You have patrons can, and sponsors, mm -hmm. volunteers? Are we everything? can still use more sponsors if a business would like to sponsor. We also have expo sponsorships, so if it, like they could be a sponsor and then have a table at the event where we have people that do a lot of um, upcycling, mm -hmm. like they make really cool things out of bottles. So if you have any, or any kind of uh, business like that can come and... Um, sell their wares or show off what they do. Mm -hmm. And volunteers, you're set for yeah, volunteers? No, if we need volunteers, we always <laughs> can use volunteers. So um, we have volunteers that can do a lot of different things, help set up, well, um, and then also help cook the spaghetti. We serve the pizza and the desserts. We have desserts donated like by about 50 of our uh, friends and members. Mm -hmm. So it's usually really um, fabulous desserts. So we have cut up, serve those, and help with cleanup and recycling at the end. Oh, great. Now, how are the funds used by the Pizza Bash? The, the funds um, help us. Uh, the Midland Recyclers is a 501c3 um, nonprofit, mm -hmm. so it'll help with our general operating funds. Um, the money that we use, uh, about half of it comes from when we sell the recyclables because mm -hmm. we get cardboard and plastics and newspaper that we sell to be made into more products. And then we, uh, for the rest of our budget, we do fundraisers. We do business recycling. We, s we have a reuse center at the, at the recycling center where you mm -hmm. can buy moving boxes and craft materials, pallets, and all sorts of stuff. Uh, can you give us a quick rundown on the items accepted by Midland Recyclers? Uh, and perhaps more importantly, some of those items you might not accept just because right. they're, no, they're no longer viable uh, economically. Right. Well, there's a lot of confusion because everybody, you know, most people have a curbside recycling option at their house. Mm -hmm. And Midland Recyclers is a different program. So the curbside materials go to recycling centers that are owned by like Republic or Waste Management. And then our recycling center, we take most of those types of items and then we take a lot more 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 types of items some of them are hard to recycle like we take batteries of all types mm -hmm. and you can't recycle those at home we take shred and then there's been changes too to the curbside programs they no longer take shredded paper but we take shredded paper mm -hmm. they don't want to take plastic bags but we take plastic bags and like uh, wire hangers and uh, polystyrene foam which is like the packing material mm -hmm. or foam cups and plates and, and things like that but you can go to the website and get a full list of everything that we take in the city in the curbside programs take. So tell us again when and where the Halloween Pizza Bash will be held. Okay, so it's going to be held Tuesday, um, October 27th from 5 to 7 at the St. Bridget Catholic Church Parish Hall. And how can someone best contact Midland Recyclers to get more information about the uh, becoming a patron or a donor or a volunteer for mm -hmm. the Pizza Bash? Okay, they can call us at 989-631. 1668 or that visit our website at midlandrecyclers.org. And you also have an email address of? An email, midlandrecyclers at yahoo.com and check our Facebook page too. 
Well, Esther, thank you for appearing on okay, Community well, Focus thanks for having us. to whet our appetite for the <laughs> Halloween pizza bash with thank spaghetti. You.